so tired of everybody saying that I cheated on my boyfriend. No, I wouldn't do that. That's not me. I'd never do that. Never in a million years. Never. Okay, never. Okay, that's me. Cody's whole comment section on his freaking live right now on Musical.ly. It's literally all oh, so we cheated. No, I didn't. That's not what happened. My mental health is horrible right now. And I'm not happy with myself. And I don't want to be in a relationship if I can't love myself first. <laughs> because then I'm putting too much stress and too much pressure on him. Okay? <gasps> That's what happened. Hey guys, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm not going to be on social media for a while and that I really need some time to miss home. I'm trying to work out right now, but it's not really working because I'm just too sad and upset. I don't know what's going on and I don't know how to fix things. And obviously, I can't tell you guys what's going on, and I wish I wish I could, but I don't want to bring it on social media. And I'm crying, and you guys probably like some people are like, "He's doing this for attention," but I'm really not. And I, obviously, there'll be a few of you guys that you guys were saying that I should tell people that I was hurting because people were gonna think I was going Hollywood or something. But I'm not going Hollywood. I'm just not gonna be on here for a while. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I love you. I'm sorry. I love you guys. Yo, what's, what's up guys? guys? It's Zoe. It's Cody. It's, it's Zoe. Zoe. Back, Back today, today with another YouTube, YouTube video. video. And today is kind of a rough topic that we wanted to talk about. So you guys just saw all the editing and all the stuff that went down like the past few days and there was a bunch of arguing, crying, and drama that went around through like our social media. It was on Instagram and, and it was on TikTok. Um, we didn't really post anything on YouTube during this time because there was really like no point and we weren't with each other. So basically it means that we took a break for like a week and we didn't talk for a few days, like two or three days we didn't talk. And we were just like, really just like arguing about everything. Cause I, I didn't want to break, but she did. But it was because of her own mental health through like her family. So we wanted to give you guys an update on how we're doing. Do you want to explain that? Um, Cody and I are doing fine so far. We're, we're off the break. We're, we're Gucci. Um, I love him. And I missed him. And I just felt like I was in the wrong. So I told him that I'm sorry. And he came and seen me. And so basically um we were arguing and i drove like five hours to see her because i just missed her and i feel like communication through text or even facetime was just not doing it i couldn't hug her i couldn't like look her face to face so i saw her in person and basically it made everything a lot better we hung up for the whole day and we're all happy now we went swimming we saw movies and we hung went out shopping. we went shopping and we want to tell you guys that everything's okay right now obviously some things are going to be a little bit awkward since we had that whole break. Um, but everything's going to be okay now. So just letting you guys know if you guys didn't know about the drama or if you didn't. It's one of the update you guys. Zodi is okay. Zodi is okay. Zodi is forever. Zodi's is strong. Um, if you guys didn't know, me and Zoe, like, sometimes we argue often. Sometimes we don't. Like, there's, like, three months where we don't argue, like, literally straight. And then like um, for like a month and we'll argue like every other like three or four days which i guess you know we're 17 we're not gonna agree on everything it's uh, just that like every couple argues and stuff and that's just what this it's not healthy for you not to argue i mean are you makes you stronger so mm -hmm. that's why i brought that up was because like me and zoe got through this break and i think that makes you very strong 
for us to get through this because it was like literally the hardest moment of our relationship I feel like and going through this break really showed like just showed each other how much like we miss each other and we cared about each other because that's like another thing we just kind of felt like we weren't we didn't have that spark mm -hmm. and then once like we realized that like we loved each other that much and we cared that much we came right back on the top yeah so just so want to update you guys i hope you guys enjoy me and zoe are still going to be uploading i have a few videos that are in the past before this break that i will be uploading um either this week or next week so stay tuned for that make sure you guys like and subscribe we hit 800,000, and hopefully we can hit 900,000 in like a month and then a million a million would be so dope i've never hit a million on, on anything besides tiktok so that'd be really dope if you guys could help us out if you guys really want to like and subscribe but we want to we want to let you guys know that zodi is okay so anything else you want to say that we love you and we're sorry that if you did get to experience this we're sorry we hurt you and we're, we're sorry that we scared you and made you guys cry because of this we never intended to do that we weren't really thinking when we did it we just did it for our own sake but we're really really certain we love you please know that mm -hmm. we care so much about you guys you guys are our love the love of our lives our families our little children um we love you so so much you'll never be replaced and i wanted to bring up one of the things that people think that we're doing this for attention or that we did this for clout and it was nowhere near that i was crying he's always crying and like if you saw, if you saw like my cry like i i can never fake that Zoe a boy never, fake never cries never a boy never cries I, and cody really cried through his heart yeah so we want to let you guys know that it was not for clout or attention at all we're really. not that type of people like people people thought it that it was because like our break was so like quick over yeah. like a week but it wasn't at all we we like we would never do that to you guys especially to our supporters who actually look up to us and care for us. We would never do that. So please don't think that. I know some people probably still do, but I promise that's not what happened. We're not the type of people to seek for attention or clout, so. But yeah, that's about it. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry for all this drama, if you did witness any of it, but we love you guys and we're back, so. Bye guys, love you. Bye guys, love you.